so we met actually um, in 2008. And I was studying Shakespeare at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. Okay. I was doing like a, shum- a summer Shakespeare course. And we met when I was over here. It was kind of, it was like one of the first nights. And I was out with just a group of friends that I met at uh, the Royal Academy. And Michael was at a birthday. And it was at this like, it was, it was called Bloomsbury Bowling. It's called Bloomsbury Bowling. Okay. And, um... It's one of those like kind of retro bowling alleys. Kind of like 1950s. 1950s. Okay. But it's also got like karaoke, karaoke. and a bar and stuff. Very cool. Yeah, you yeah kind of one of those mix, mix mash kind of places. But yeah. It's all underneath this hotel. So it used to be a car park and they renovated the whole thing. So it's kind yeah. of a trendy bowling, karaoke trendy bowling, bar. diner yeah. thing. <laughs> Yeah, just literally um, kind of met at the bar, ordering drinks, and um, and we just got to talking, and then I guess he was, you know, we were both there with separate friends, so we kind of just spoke, and then I think I gave him my number, and then we went yeah, out for... Uh, we spoke very briefly, and then I kind of found you on Facebook, and then started talking on Facebook a little bit. Yeah. Um, kind of when that was, yeah, back in 2008, so kind of the start of when I started using Facebook. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. A bit late to it, but yeah, and then we kind of yeah arranged to kind of meet up, and then from then on, kind of went on quite a few dates over the course of that summer. She did her course. She went back home for a bit. Uh, I went to New York. We visited each other. We met up each other in New York, um, and then when she came over to London, we did a, a trip over to Paris. When we went to Paris. That was like our first, like he said, first time he said I love you and everything, and then we he, we got engaged there. Uh, how many years later? Eight years later. First place I told her that I loved her was in Paris. So I thought, well, let's try and you know get her out there for the proposal. Plus, it's Paris. You know, she's bound to say yes, definitely. You know, <laughs> if I take Paris, it has to be. Um, so I kind of spent uh, a few months planning on what we would do, where we would go. Um, I got the ring, had that all prepared, and then we had just kind of moved into our new apartment. And during that time, I said to her, oh, you know, what if we maybe go to France and you know do you like go go to a nice kind of um, wine place. So I said to her, let's do this, and then I was kind of planning it, and I said, well, you know, since we're there, let's go to Paris. We can go to Paris for a couple of nights, you know, and rather than staying Calais, you know, we can go a little bit further. It doesn't take us long to get to Paris. She still didn't kind of cotton on. I mean, which is good. I can't believe I didn't catch on. I was like, yeah, sure, let's go to Paris. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> That was probably why it's just kind of just taken back. Like, okay, yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> yeah. Then we, we kind of got to this hotel. It was a really nice hotel. She was like, oh, this is, this is a bit kind of extreme. Like, yeah, I was like, quite full is... out. Like, you know, I was like, oh, no, no, I've got, got, got a great deal. It's a great deal. Like, don't, don't look into it too much, honestly. So um, so we got there and the people kind of had prepared the room already, like, with, with like, you know, roses and stuff mm-hmm. and congratulations. So, you know, I couldn't go in just yet. The lady behind the counter, you know, I told her what was happening. She was like, okay, we'll put your bags around and you're going to do your thing, go down to this bridge. I was like, cool. So we dropped our bags, went on this little walk to the bridge. So we finally got to the bridge, Alexandre Trois, Pont de Trois or something it's called, uh, P-O-N-T and then three um, bridge. And it's the kind of golden bridge with the either side of it and it overlooks the Eiffel Tower. So she's looking at the Eiffel Tower and uh, as she looks around, you know, I kind of get, get on one knee finally get the uh, the ring out proposed to her uh thankfully she says yes she goes bright red first then she says then she says yes and then i start sweating <laughs> and then uh, and it was lovely we had lots of people around us you know clapping and cheering and uh, yeah it was great i was really nervous it's good when we kind of had the decision to have the two weddings because the reason for obviously that is that we didn't want to lose out on all of our American family not being able to make it Mm -hmm. and in the same way I didn't want to lose out on all my English and Serbian family not being able to make it. Right. So having that in Montenegro meant that I was able to have all my family from the north of England, from London, from Serbia Serbia. um, and from Montenegro all attend. and it was, yeah, really beautiful. Uh, it's on this little island, and it's the only thing on the island is the church. So you have to take a boat, big boat out there. You know, we had the traditional Serbian gypsy band, where there's like 15 people with all the trumpets and the brass band. Um, you know, everyone dances around. You, you give the money to tips and stuff. So it's kind of a like, nice little ethnic feel to it there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and um, that's at each wedding, obviously, had the traditions. And obviously, Mike 
you know, for the Cleveland wedding, got to get, you know, put up on the chairs and we did have a tequila. Oh, yeah, smash the glass, great. Smash the glass. He pulled your um, knee, like, all the way up to your chest. Oh, I stopped it. I stopped it. Stopped. Stopped it. Stopped it. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's why, you know, we had the Montenegro one. And that was lovely because that was on the um, September the... Um, that uh, was September 3rd. Yeah, September so 3rd. So we had them basically a month apart. It was August 6th. And then September third yeah. was the Montenegro wedding. Okay. And again, all of the close fam, all of the close friends in my family went to Montenegro, and then also came to Cleveland, to Cleveland okay. um, as yeah. well. So it was lovely having both. Basically, of them there. everyone in the wedding party basically did yeah. both. Um, and and then, I had close family from Cleveland who were also coming out to Montenegro, yeah. which was so amazing. Friends, which so some people went to both, some people chose one wedding, but yeah. we were right. happy with whatever people. Yeah, we, we, we get a bit from the option, but a lot of friends just went, no, we want to come to both. We drove actually back to London, but did a very slow drive back to London from Montenegro and in northern Italy. And we started in Venice, we went to Padua, Verona, Lake Garda, Lake Isio, and just kind of, we had no plan, but basically we went to hotels and we met amazing bartenders and the bartender would be like oh i have a really i have a great bartender at this hotel it's amazing then you guys should stay yeah. there check out verona oh i know this this guy does awesome tours or the manager as well you know when we say that we were married on newlyweds they'd be like oh that's fantastic and then they'd say where are you going next and we're like well we're not really sure and they're like oh you have to go see our friends at this hotel yeah they'll really look after you here let me just tell them that you're coming i think and i said to hillary as well i think we're planning and you know for the differences between us hillary's like a planner when it comes to holidays yeah i like to be like hey let's get in the car and drive somewhere yeah see what happens the adventure mm -hmm. so i was like no look We've planned enough. Right. It's just, you know, like the old school that used to get in the car with a picture on the back, just married and just go off into yeah. the sunset. I said, <laughs> that that's what I want. I said, let's just get in the car. So just long, everyone. Go. Lovely seeing you. But now it's us time. Right. And, so, and then we had a fabulous time. We honestly couldn't, couldn't have been better if yeah. we had planned it. Well, I mean, India obviously is on the horizon, so there's kind of that. It's nice to have this like downtime, not thinking about too much right. planning in terms of you know what, what there is for this year. Yeah. We have a couple of holidays in the summer to look forward to. We have a few weddings actually, again in Cleveland, uh, one in Cleveland, one in New York. Hillary's friends from school that yeah. she grew up with. A few um, weddings definitely. This so year. there's that, and then you know maybe potentially at the end of the year start looking towards uh, maybe looking for a bigger place you know yeah. maybe for bigger family yeah you know so <laughs> <laughs> something on those lines great <laughs> wonderful we're taking a good year though a year yeah. to enjoy it at least yeah. we're gonna be selfish for one more year that. i mean obviously we we have our flat here in london but it's been really nice just to kind of get back and like really enjoy our place in london and kind of you know add things to it and you know do little you know, gardening things and like household things just to kind of make it perfect mm -hmm. and actually take time to time to really do it. So, um, Great. yeah, it's just, it's been really nice. And Michael and I are going to New York for a wedding, but, um, yeah, just kind of spending time with our families this year and reconnecting and I guess not doing wedding things. Yeah. <laughs>